Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the bag of the semi truck, and it's that time once again, the Ghost and Molly McGee. You can tell from the thumbnail, you can tell from the title, we're at season two, episode three, and I don't know exactly where we're going to go from here, but I know in the last episode we got a little bit of Libby, then we also got a little bit of Ollie, and I tend to agree with one of the comments that was left down down you know down in the comments i don't know why my brain ain't functioning correctly and i couldn't think of down where it is but y'all know where it is down in the comments but i agree with gotv and they say that they're not quite sure about ollie yet and whether or not they're you know a fan of his and on board with him because i i I agree, you know, you have one incident in your childhood that happened to your father, uh, no less, and that dictates your whole life from there. There has to be more to that story, but I, I don't know. Um, I'm not on board with Ollie quite yet. He's kind of just blah for me. Um, plus, on top of that, kind of... I like the idea of Molly crushing on somebody, but at the same time, I like her wholesomeness and giddiness of just living life as well. So that kind of throws me for a little bit of a loop of her literally just crushing all over this guy. So I can get used to it, though, if they do it right. Um, as far as that Libby episode, we see her anxiety popping up, and yeah, it's Libby. We all love her. She's cute. She's adorable. And just... She's Libby. Um, yeah. I like any episode with her. So, I say it's time for me to shut up. Let's jump into this intro. And just jump into the episode from there. So, play that intro. Just want to do this quick rap about some cartoons that I watched as a kid. Hope you guys like it. So once upon a time back in the first grade I would sit around and watch the television all day Eyes glued to the screen, no breaks in between Try to name one I know I said, well, okay, hold on Faint of Art And I know I said it last time But I really want them to change the intro to this show Because Scratch isn't cursed anymore Quality, but that's a good thing, right? A beautiful blank slate, ready to become whatever I want the only limit is yeah, the I feel your, you know, hey, Sharon, painter's magic. block there because I can't figure out anything mm -hmm. to paint unless I'm kind of told. Oh, got it. Ivate betrayed you, Mal. She doesn't need focus. She needs inspiration. A muse. I mean, she does need inspiration. Basically a work of art as is. I don't know how I feel about that look of you. A little bit too chiseled for me. Go ahead. You're right. Yeah, yeah, just start putting some brush strokes on right. there and just see what Here happens. Look, I don't want to Although I've got to get better with job. my blending. I'm not an artist. Because it's not. Paint me like one of your French ghouls. <laughs> oh, there's a movie <laughs> reference that there. hopefully have kids haven't seen. Wait. You heard well, I mean, Titanic, I hopefully kids have seen it, but at the same time, there is one scene where old girls like, paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> and if you didn't know what I meant by hopefully kids didn't see the scene, Kate Winslet gets naked in that scene. No, 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 no. Me to do, but paint? Huh? Isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, yeah does she really Please. want that though? Yes. Y'all seem to be Please. holding her so prisoner can't right can't now. We can't wait to see the but at the same time, her Please. distractions are very reminiscent of my wife. You're not gonna be your did y'all just do a Rickroll dance? I could swear they just did the Rickroll dance. Yeah, I'd be trying to leave too. You ain't nothing but a prisoner, girl. Oh dang, maybe your mom needs to paint some more. I mean, if you're going to do all the housework for her. As a muse, you got four there. It's almost like she doesn't want to paint me. I know, right? You won't judge me. Maybe she just needs a break. 
Jeez, Molly. Come with prize. Oh my gosh. Explain. I thought you were on a job. <sighs> this is my job. I'm on my lunch break. Just see for yourself. Mom, it's what blank. to the masterpiece you've been working on all day? <laughs> see it? Really, she's using negative space. What if I'm just not good enough? Mom, Aww. I'm going to give you the kind of advice that you usually give me. Your art doesn't have to be perfect. It's an expression of how you feel. Oh, since when did you start? I think she me? might have oh, found inspiration found here. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, dude! I do not need to see Scratch's butt. Mom's canvas. Oh, she just got inspiration. Which means here's now my crop of canvases. Can y'all give me inspiration and tell me what to do with these canvases? Actually, I've got four of them. It looks kind of in the wind. The ghost and Molly McGee. Well, there we go. Hopefully, we get to see the painting in the next one. A soda to remember. And let me get these back where they belong. Think about your life before you were a ghost. Yes. Because I don't remember anything about my life before I was a ghost. Oh my gosh. Uh, really? You don't remember anything of your life? Yes. I remember. I was going to take a nap. Good night. Oh, oh you come jerk. On, scratch. At least try to remember. Soda founded in 1909 and regarded as the tastiest soda of the Midwest. 1909, huh? And I did have to dabble in the dark web. I saw some things I cannot but see. But had to dabble in the dark web nice for the soda? Tell me that it's an soda. Whoa, we have a new dude, principal. Which means that's no a vintage soda. soda. I know how hard it is to resist those delicate bubbles. The fizzy pop, 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 when your tongue gently landed on. My dude, what kind of affair did you have uh, with some soda? Connor? Huh? Oh, sorry. Ghosts cannot go through safe. Some kind of really? Metal. No problem. I know the combo. That is Mother's weird. Birthday, Agey wants to retire at, and grams of sugar in an eight-ounce soda can. I like that Scratch right. didn't pose. He just floated there. Sneak into the room while Miss Milo is distracted. She's always busy But when we do it for real, I won't drop it. Why did you imagine yourself dropping the soda? Oh my gosh, Molly, this is why we love you. Me? You can't expect me to heist on an empty stomach. One soda pop decoy. I really feel like my theory of him dying in the Great Depression is correct because he's always eating. As if he, uh, he's scared he's not ever going to be full. I, lunch. I am lunchless. Bates, was this you? Lightfoot. Why do you not want this soda, Scratch? Are you afraid of this memory? Wait, stop! You don't want to leave print? That's not my name. Uh, oh my gosh, Daryl. Maverick. Thank you. Scratch. Hey, I why did you lie to them? Oh, I hope he has a good explanation as to why he doesn't want to drink this drink. So hungry. If I could just Taco Turtle. Taco sauce is food, Jason. Oh, you have another save. He's got a point. And what if? I understand if you don't want to remember, but if there's any part of you that, yeah, no matter what, go take my tacos and make me. This was a really good way to handle it so far. I really like what they're doing right now. I don't believe that, but, you know, office, right, let's see what this last couple seconds Molly and Darryl gives McGee, us. Get it. Let's make a promise. Every time we drink this soda, we'll think of each other. That way, I'll never forget you, and you'll never forget me. Oh, I want to know so bad. Ah. Ah! 
Daggone it. Well, that does take my theory of Scratch dying during the Depression out the window now. Because that felt like it was set possibly, depending on the way she was dressed. I'll have it come up here in a second. Depending on the way she was dressed, I feel like it was set possibly early 90s. Maybe even late 90s. Nope, nope, nope. I'm looking now at her shirt, which hopefully I'll have it over there as a screenshot. I see her shirt, and I'm thinking maybe late 70s now. 1970s. That's, that's now my new time frame that I'm going with when it comes to Scratch and when he, you know, might have died or maybe his... You know, I don't even care about how he died. At this point, I want to know his life before he died. I mean, yeah, I had this wild theory in my head that he starved to death, you know, during the Great Depression, and that just explains why, you know, he eats all the time because, you know, he's so scared of not ever having enough food or something like that. But let's be real. There's no way that Disney would take that and be like, oh, yeah, that's real. That's that's it right there. Of course not. That's just part of my little head cannon. But now that we've got a few more context clues, now we know he had a friend with this young girl here. And the soda is for him to be able to remember, oh, maybe, oh, that's, this is going to sound horrible. Okay, I'll say that in a minute. As far as the first half, <laughs> I want to try... There's a lot in my head right now, y'all. <laughs> the first half of the episode. Okay, it really reminds me of my wife. She's actually back in school right now. She's going and she's about to become certified to become a teacher. And she's talking all the time about studying and studying and studying and studying. I've got to go study. I've got to go study. I'm like, all right, go have fun go do it um because it's fun for her she enjoys the studying aspect she's going to school to be a special needs teacher or for some reason around the area that i'm around it's called sped as in i i don't even know what it stands for but it's called sped it's special needs you know she's wanting to help the mentally challenged students and help them be able to function better you know with life she ain't going for the extreme cases, but not necessarily the mild either. She's kind of just, in all reality, she's just going wherever she's placed because she just, she loves the kids. And for some reason, we gravitate towards, you know, me and her always seem to gravitate towards, it sounds horrible the way I'm saying it, but we always seem to gravitate towards those type of people, you know literally one of her best friends is like a 65 year old you know it sounds horrible the way I'm saying it but she has special needs and she's an older lady and she's you know she's she, you know she's my wife's one of my wife's friends she's just a Y'all know what I'm saying, but as far as the episode and how it relates to her she's constantly talking about studying and but then she'll get distracted and want to go vacuum or go mop the floor or go cook dinner. I'm like, Don, I can fend for myself. Go do whatever you want to do. It's not hurting me to make my own food. <laughs> I am not a 1930s husband who expects food on the table as soon as I walk in the door or whatever. It's like, no, when, you know... Things have changed a little throughout the world, but, you know, it is what it is. The episode really reminds me of her because, of course, with Molly's mom, she got this... It's more of inspiration at that point, but she keeps wanting to get distracted, all this junk. So, that's how I've come to, you know, thinking of that episode. It, it kind of... I like these two episodes. They're really good, in my opinion. They tell a lot of stuff within, like, 11 minutes each. And then, of course, second half of the episode... I'm trying to figure out the best way to word these thoughts because I got a lot of thoughts jumbled up in my head right now. And Scratch, I'm pretty sure 
his name before he died isn't Scratch. And I really like how they're doing it. They're kind of catching you on a bit of an emotional bend as well. With it still being Ghost and Molly McGee-esque, if that makes sense. They, they, they seem to be keeping Scratch, the character that he is... But somehow he's pulling at your heartstrings like, what if I, I, I forgot for a reason? I, I don't want to remember, possibly. But now we know he remembers something before he died. And what he remembers is a girl. And that may, I'm believing that Scratch had a little girlfriend and or just a friend. And his name obviously wasn't Scratch before he died because... What parent in their right mind is going to name their son Scratch? But, you know what? It was the 70s, possibly. It was the 70s, so who knows? Maybe they named him Scratch, and they thought it was a unique name or something like that. I have no idea, but I've got a feeling throughout these episodes of this season, we're going to see, it's going to sound horrible here, but I'm wondering if she died. Maybe he's going to meet her in the ghost world. Ah, jeez, that sounds so horrible. Or, oh my gosh, that could go in 15 different directions. Maybe she's still alive. And he somehow gets in touch with her. Oh, or may, ooh, maybe it's that one old lady. No, no, well, I don't know. The 70s was 70, 80, 90. Oh, wow, how old am I? <laughs> 80, 90, 10, 20. Wow, the 70s was close to 50, 70, geez, 40 plus years ago at this point. So it could be that one lady that still lives in the town. It could be her. And maybe Scrat. No, no. You know what? My mind is going 15 different directions. I tell y'all what. If you made it this far, go ahead and jump down to that comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe about, you know, Scratch's past, all that stuff. And, oh my gosh, where's your mind taking you whenever you start thinking about Scratch and who it could possibly be? And, I don't know. Y'all just let me know. Jump down to the comments, leave your comment, hit the like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.